Well, today uh, is February 8th, 2011. Uh, my name is Todd Maxwell, and I'm going to be going over about our new support plans that have been implemented since uh, late December. What are the support plans now available for DSS v6 and also the DSS v6 Lite? Now, this is important for you, as well as some other information about our basic support plan that we have, standard support plan, a premium support plan, a 24 by 7 support plan, which is based on a per incident. Uh, basically, what we want to be able to show you is about these support plans, what they entail, and some of the details for each of them that uh, might help your customers or to the end users that are visiting now. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to obtain these support plans for for your specific DSV6 and also for V Lite. Uh, and what happens if you have an end of life product with uh, such as a product called NAS R3, a nice SCSI R3, or DSS V5? Uh, these older products uh, have been end of life of last year of May 31st. There is still support for these products, but time is running out. So we need to go over them and be able to make sure everybody understands how uh, these plans are working and how they can be converted. So let's begin. Uh, let's talk about where do you begin to get a support? What are the information that you need to know about some of our support plans? Uh, one of the first things that I want to let you all know is if you click on the support link here, um, basically we have now the, if you click on here, you'll see that the technical support uh, is right down here. Some of you are saying that you have no video, so let's just, ver just verify and if you all can see the video now before I continue. And before we get, okay, great, they're all coming in. And uh, sometimes we do have a glitch and it happens, so sorry about that, everybody. Um, let's go continue. So if you're on the OpenE website, what we want to do is start with going to click on support link right here and then go all the way down to the technical support policies. All right, so let's bring that up. The first page, as you're going to see, it's, it's a one-page summary overview. And what we wanted to provide everybody was the ability to have different support plans for our two base products. So we're going to be talking about DSS Lite and DSS v6 full version. Um, and then while we are on these topics, I want you to, everybody to realize that EOL means end of life product. You're going to see a lot of these topics and notations here um, concerning the support plans and how they relate to end of life products. One of the things I want to be able to start off with is that you see that it's annual. Annual means yearly. Now currently, the, every purchase of DSS v6, you automatically receive one year free support. And this allows you to still submit an email, receive a phone call, but it's basically a standard support product. And here what we do is after you one year, so let's say you purchase it today, next year in 2012, uh, the end the support year free is over, you can add additional support products that we have here. So if you want to add another year of support, you would click on standard or, or premium. Um, the and you can add additional years on top of that. So if you just want to continue it for the next three years, you would purchase three of these in this amount of years. And we'll show how that works. So what we have on the left here, you'll see annual basic support right here. Um, this product that we've offered is usually good for DSS Lite products. And that's also used for the regular DSS full version. The only difference is it's kind of limited. Uh, what this allows you is to receive email support. Uh, you do get access to obviously the forums on all of them and knowledge base and also the new, new releases that are developed with the uh, DSS Lite and also to the uh, DSV6. And of course we talk about severity levels. And what we've done is we've broken it down so that way we talk about severity levels um, and we'll go into the types of severity levels and what they mean. But the basic support plan, if you look here, it kind of engages you what the response times are. So if it's really critical for your customers or for your environment to have a faster response time, you might want to look at the premium support package. So this is, allows you also to leave remote support. Remote support allows 
files or engineers to get in hardware to diagnose something, uh, then our engineers are able to remotely get, get into the DSS-6 and or light version and be able to allow us to get in to resolve your issue. Additionally, small updates. You notice that the in standard support does not also not, only not have the remote support, but it also does not have the small updates. Small updates are, let's Let's say you have a new device that's part of our compatibility list and we come up with a newer version or that you have a new product that's a new Intel network interface controller and you need new software drivers up for it. Do a small update with the premium support and also for per incident 24 by 7 support. So the best package here in the blue is the premium support. Now that allows us to be able to provide you for our response time once the, in the, the incident has been created by a ticket. So we'll talk about how do you go into your user portal and submit a ticket for your registered serialized product. So we can provide you up to response time. So due to because of the severity levels, uh, you can see that severity level has a longer response time than severity one and so forth like severity level three. Once again, uh, you get free support for DSS v6, but it's more of on a standard support level. You do get uh, email and also phone support. You'll see the icons right here as well. And the last product is the for incident support. This is 24 by 7. This allows you to contact us outside the, the regular business hours that we have listed on below down here. So for the North America and also Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia uh, areas, what we call EMA support team, uh, EMEA support team, and of course the North American support team. So if you're on a weekend or if you're during those holiday times, uh, you can contact our our support, which is the 24 by 7, and that's per incident. So it's not an annual support, it's also based on per serial number. So let's go to the next topics and begin with uh, the breakdowns of these, uh, what the support entails and what we provide. So in order to be receive OpenE technical support, first you need to register uh, the DSS v6 or your light product. You can register it by clicking on the link that we have here, or if you already have a user portal, well, this is what your user portal will look like once you uh, enter it and you fill out and complete your contact information. See where your products are listed. If you click on your products and updates, you'll be able to register your serial number. So many of you may have more than one, and you can, if you purchase new ones, you can register product here. So we need you to register your product before you can receive technical support. And the products, again, that we allow for support will be for the DSS Lite, and the full version of DSS v6, which allows you standard technical support, and of course you need to be activated. Now, once again, once you activate DSS, there's a lot of questions about this. Is well, when do I know when my from one year time from my start to end do I receive support? Well, the day that you register and activate the DSS v6 is or the like is, is the time that it starts. So if, again, today you register, you purchase, you purchase it online, or you received it from a partner, or purchased through a distributor, and once you receive the key, then you register and activate the system, that is the day that it starts. Another thing that we really recommend is that you need to update it to the current release, or at least one revision line. Today, currently, it's uh, uh, one revision from the latest build, which is 5087, the previous one was is 4786. So we require that you be on one of those too. And obtaining a ticket is really critical. Uh, the reason being is we record everything, there's time logs, there's also references, and it also helps you to help us and vice versa. Why? Well, because many times our subjects and topics may be related to another that we can instantly provide provide you a faster response time due to because it will have to have these tickets in place before you can submit um, a support ticket. So when you go to your user portal, you'll have a tab here called technical support. 
just a lot of phone or email. Uh, and coincidentally, they're both working in hand. So if I needed to contact an engineer or VO by support, you want to make sure that your contact information is updated. If you need to change that, then go ahead and change your telephone number if you're on site in a data center location and you need to have one of our engineers contact you, you just put your telephone number. And then at this point, and you've registered the product, here you can select which serial number of DSSV6 that you need support for. Uh, one selector DSSV6, this allows you, or you can have multiples, especially for replications, and you want to add the other uh, serial number in there. And then you can, of course, upload the logs. And sometimes the logs may be larger than 20 meg, and in this case you can upload them separately or specify uh, why the reason you don't have to worry about it. So that's the reason why you want to register and be able to obtain technical support and it's quite simple. And of course we ask you several questions that may, uh, it categorizes it and it, it directs us and to provide you a faster response time. So that's be uh, entered into your user portal and that will way it happens within a few minutes and we were able to respond to it. Once again, end of life products that are, are not in, entitled for technical support. So here to see what products are end of life. Here we have a plethora of them. Uh, as of the May 31st of last year, 2010, um, the support will we've granted an extra year of time on this. So for everyone, End of technical support for DSSV5, NAS R3, and the iSCSI R3 will end as of May 31st of this year. Um, you can update these products and continue to receive another year of free support if you upgrade to the DSSV6. So it's really imperative that you think about it. Um, do you have to? No, but you might need support. Can you obtain support via the 24 by 7? Yes, you can. But for the cost that you're paying for the 24 by 7 support versus what you can get for the upgrade cost, uh, you might come out financially better by just purchasing the upgrade and continue to get another free year of uh, free support. As you can see, the other uh, older products, you are they're the window of opportunity to upgrade is gone. Um, so are legacy products that are no longer uh, supported. And if we go down, you can see all the listings here. So that's uh, a lot of information on the live uh, products that we have listed. Let's go to the next section. The technical support availability that we have, uh, we have several hubs uh, for North America, which involves United States, Canada, South America countries. Uh, we have a U.S. hub here in, in the North and South America team. And our hours of operation are from 9 a.m. EST time to 5 p.m. East, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, this covers the West East Coast to West Coast time zones. Again, we are open from Monday through Friday. And we are not open on the weekends or U.S. public holidays. Also the same for Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia with our European team. Uh, their hours of operation are similar from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, German time. And of course, they have holidays as well. well. But again, weekends, after hours support, you can always gain through the 24 by 7 per incident, which we'll go over. Let's talk about severity levels. We had to classify certain ways of being able to do a response time. We provide severity levels to address related to the support tickets, and that's why it's very important for you to fill out those tickets. So typically, when we see a ticket come in, depending upon the severity level, uh, we will address it within a certain time frame. Typically, all uh, normally our response times are with one and two hours within a high severe level. Uh, if not within minutes. Uh, we have our ticketing system into our support database that is categorized. So when you enter these tickets and you have these severity levels, we have an immediate response time. The engineers really look after these tickets and they address them very fast. So what would be a classification for security level one? Well, access to no, no data, whether it be iSCSI, fiber channel, or NAS volumes, uh, or a system crash. 
A lot of times we've seen where uh, there's been a power outage or the RAID controller is degraded or there's uh, some type of physical issue. Uh, we treat that very, very severe, and our support team is accustomed to handling that for physical or logical damages. So please be aware that the in premium support, even though we have a four-hour response time, Typically, we answer that within a few minutes. We're right on top of it. Uh, severities of, of examples of the severity level two, you've installed a new hardware device, it is not recognized by DSSV6. Or you've made changes to the replication, such as, let's say, data replication or volume replication, and the source did not fail over properly, made due to because of some issue with the uh, ping node or if the auxiliary ports were offline, um, and things did not work out right. Severity, but your data is still accessible. You could still access it via due to because the secondary is picked up or data replication. Uh, you're able to access it, but it's just not running right now. And of course, severity level three. This is usually a lot of sales questions or questions related to the DSS v6 software functionality in hardware compatibility. Incidentally, uh, you can always retrieve um, a hardware compatibility list through our support page. Now I can go into that later on. Some of the important information you need to know is that you're able to access a lot of our uh, information on our forums and our knowledge base. Uh, we have a search engine here that is very powerful. If you were ever to look for, I don't know, oh, there's something, this jumbo for instance, You'll find that there's a lot of information on our website, uh, our knowledge base articles. You can categorize um, here. You can just click on right to our knowledge base and be able to get obtain information. A lot of times we're seeing this being highly used because we're getting faster response times through our search engine. We've optimized it to be able to search forms, the website, and the knowledge base, and you can even categorize them. So a lot of times you may be able to have your answer relatively quick. Uh, by utilizing our, uh, our knowledge base or search engine that we have or the forms. Trial versions of opening software. We wanted to give everybody a good chance to be able to test DSS v6. It's really good, especially when you start off with a new system. Uh, we allow you 60 days. Please test it. We recommend this, uh, especially before you put it in a production environment. No matter whether it's us or somebody else or a competitor, we always recommend that. Remember, we're here to provide solutions and opportunities for everyone. So giving you 60 days on the DSSV6 trial version is helpful for to you as well as to us. Small ups. Uh, when you have the premium package version, we do supply you the uh, small updates and also 24 by 7. Uh, when you do ask for small updates for, let's say, you need a new driver, we must have them GPL approved. So we notate, we note this right in here, uh, as we cannot provide full support if we do not have hardware devices in our labs. So a lot of times we need the hardware in our labs to be able to test it. Um, there's a lot of unknowns that we don't know about. Without our lab to be able to test it, it can not provide you the proper support that you should be receiving. And a lot of times, not all updates can be done due to the fact that they have tested or they're just not GPL approved. Um, so, you know, many times a lot of the engineers in, in our end, the developers and engineers in the QA department, we really need time to test this. Typically, uh, NICs and small drivers we can have within and the next day. So we're pretty fast about that. Uh, the next topic is remote support services. This is a really good feature to have. It also combines with does OpenE provide online or on-site technical support. Well, what is the remote support services? And we abbreviate a lot in our support team. So if you guys see this a lot, you'll see what is RSS. Well, that's the remote support service. This allows our engineers to access the DSS v6 uh, operating system. So we're able to get inside, to be able to uh, resolve issues, to diagnose what could a problem, the problem could be, and be able to assist you faster. Typically, we have Tier 3 and Tier 2 engineers involved, and sometimes a developer. Uh, you really want to investigate, especially with the premium service. This really helps you out. Hardware compatibility, we do have a link. Let's say you're interested in an in InfiniVan uh, card, or you're looking at a certain RAID controller. 
You probably want to click on here for the product compatibility list and be able to search uh, either by name or product or vendor to see if that car is listed. Sometimes we don't have everything in there, but due to because the drivers are the same, it might be in there. So always send us uh, pre-sales at open-e.com and we'll be able to find out for you if that's the list. What happens if you encounter a bug? Uh, typically what we've seen, and they're very rare, but what we've seen is that uh, we work with many communities, but we do address them very quickly, um, or we provide small updates. Uh, the next one is source code, dis uh, source code disclaimers. Uh, here's just basically that a lot of times, uh, environment that we're in, some of the code is, is developed on our end and some is borrowed from other organizations or free source foundations that the source code is available um, and updates can take time if they're from other different communities. But typically we, our relationships with these communities are very strong so they do not take that long. We have uh, a lot of FAQ questions that we keep developing but overall, a lot of questions come in, what happens if I have basic support and I want to be able to upgrade my basic support to premium? Can you do this at any time? Yes, you can do any upgrades to any support plan. So let's say you have a basic support plan, you decide to go to standard, but you really wanted to get a small update or have some remote support services. You can even upgrade from standard, then go and upgrade to premium. The If you have 24 by 7, uh, can you still purchase an existing support plan? So let's say you run out of support. You didn't purchase any of the support plans, but you only want to use it once in a while because you're very experienced with DSS v6. You could still purchase a 24 by 7 plan, plan without purchasing a premium and so forth. So here's some questions for you to view with the answers. And also with DSS Lite, you can always at any time upgrade your DSS v6 Lite to a premium version of DSS v6 and also receive standard support. Or if you have DSS v6 Lite, you can always purchase a standard and upgrade to premium. So they're very flexible of what we offer. As we go into the details for each of them, if you click in here uh, for future reference, the annual basic support, just an overview. It's one date from purchasing the licensing and registering. Here's the price, and it's email only. So there's no phone support is provided with the basic support that we have. And of course, we have a short description of each of these. And on the bottom of the benefits. So you want to look at the benefits that you get with the forms, which are included with all of them. And of course, the remote support is not in small updates. We then provide you the severity level and response times. So here you have eight hours from incident after submitting a ticket. And then, of course, severity level two and three. Now we'll go next to the standard support. You'll get one year from date of purchasing the license again after registration, and you get email and phone support. And if you come down here, you can see the benefits, what is included, what is not. And of course, your response time is a little faster. So severity level one, it is an eight hour, but the next business day instead of a two day wait from the basic support plans. Now in premium, you get email and phone support. And here you get all the included benefits from the forms all the way down to remote support and also small updates. And if you notice, the response time for severity level one, two, and three are shortened. So you might want to look at that if your uh, business or your customers, uh, end users that have a production environment and needs a faster response time, um, this will be able to serve. Then last is what we have is the 24 by 7 support. Now what's different about this, it's not annual, it's per incident and it's per serial number. In fact, all of these support plans is based on a per serial number basis. So what we have on the after hour support fee, let's say it's the weekend, it's Saturday night, you need to contact an engineer. Uh, what we have is a telephone number down here. If you look at this number right here, it's one eight. 775725134 and here they will be able to direct um, your call to obtain an engineer 
usually within one hour, uh, somebody will contact you back. You usually, it's usually 10 or 15 minutes and somebody's ready to go. Please have uh, uh, your logs ready. Uh, here is what we state. We want you to be ready for everything because we realize this is a critical downtime. Have your logs ready. Have your serial number and provide this information to the 24-hour support system that we have. Um, and then we'll be able to contact you and be able to provide the support that you need. So overall, if you go to our one-page summary, uh, you can see online uh, via through any of these programs right here, right at to our buy. If you click on the buy button and you scroll down, not only do you see all the products for DSSV6, but also you can upgrade the DSSV6 for ISCA ZR3, NAS R3, DSS V5 to DSSV6, uh, also DSS uh, V6 to DSSV6. You can add other storage license fees, and of course here you can purchase these for your support package that is best for your environment. Additionally, what you'll see is when you purchase one of the support plans, let's see what that'll look like. If we go to the your products in the user portal, see that here DSS Lite was obtained for premium support and during and at certain times. So you can see different time levels during the activation. So these are examples of what you'll see when you have uh, your products with will be noted which support plans you have, and that allow you to obtain support for the DSS Lite products. Here you can see if you have older products, you know no longer supported. Um, so this is where you you probably want to take advantage, especially for let's say DSS V5. The support ends for all DSS V5, NAS R3, iSCSI R3. You can see here that it's ended on May 31st of this year, 2011. Look, look at upgrading that uh, DSS V6 and you receive a year of free support as soon as you activate it. Now if we look at 6, you can see here that they're denoted for the uh, support packages that we have. <clears throat> so you see premium, standard support, and so forth. So if you have a V6 product and you're looking to purchase support for, um, you, all you need to do is, is click on the details for your product, and you should be, able to be right there on the right side, be able to purchase support for your DSS V6 or your light product as well. That's pretty much it, everybody. That This is important for everybody to go, go into. Also, when you're in your user portal, Please make sure you update your information, your account information. Uh, this helps us to contact you, send out email notifications of new releases of DSS V5, I mean V6, and also any other uh, release notes that we have because we've got a great year coming up this year. So make sure when you go in your subscription tab, make sure that you receive marketing news newsletters, and especially for product updates. This is important for you to keep up, uh, basically to keep up with the updates of the releases. Uh, we have a question here that says, uh, um, how do we pay for support purchases, credit card or via some other? You can purchase. It's a good question. There's a lot of um, the packages that we have, if we go to the store, you can purchase them online. Uh, if you want, you can also purchase them through the distribution channel that we have. Um, if we go right here to products uh, or where to buy, and you can click on reseller or part or online shop. So here is our distributors. You can contact for your area and which country. You see we're all over the world, uh, United States or North America or Canada. You can contact these companies here to purchase support plans. If you want to purchase on directly online, you can purchase them right online right here. And of course, we accept Visa. MasterCard, AMX, PayPal, and a few others here that are functional for the European areas as well. In European areas, we do have a change currency, so you can change currency value here and be able to see the difference of cost value. So once again, just make sure that you update your subscription and 
click on the products info. This will tell you if you uh, releases uh, once we release them. We're going to have another release um, at the end of the month. It's going to be a special release and it'll be announced. So please make sure that you have marketing newsletters and uh, partner letters as well. Uh, so we got another question from Paul. Is that uh, do my engineers need to have a credit card ready before you'll start supporting 24 by 7 uh, per incident support at 399? Yes, um, the we have a call center when you purchase the support that when you contact this telephone number, you need to be ready with a credit card uh, or some type of payment process, but typically it's going to be credit card for them to be able to verify that the credit card is valid and for a personal number. So this is very important uh, for you to be ready and available, uh, especially with inconvenience times. You know, we have to get an engineer, uh, make sure he's on standby and be ready to contact you or your customer. <clears throat> um, looks like we got another question coming in from uh, James. James is saying, he says, um, I'm in New Zealand. Do you see any fits in taking a premium support uh, plan when German time is exactly 12 hours behind? Actually, you know, this is a good question. Let's say you might be in a position, uh, this is where it's difficult, where you can always realize the North American uh, team in many ways. Probably not, but then again, premium support. So if you figure we've got a coverage time, uh, we're seeing about almost five hours. So if you're within that five range by the time you submit it, um, but overall we do extend certain hours. So if we need to help somebody who's in a time zone that does not meet the criteria, sometimes we can schedule a premium offer uh, you to get the small update or remote support services. James, you might want to think about that. In, it depends on the type of merge you have. If the really uptime is required, then I would probably just go 24 by 7 as per case per incident. And that just might save you the time. Again, everybody, if you notice that the online chat window, uh, currently usually I'm on this, but if you have products, there's also Greg and myself who are on here. Uh, please utilize if you have questions concerning our product. Also, if you have uh, any questions on the sales, uh, any sales questions that you have, please contact us here at these numbers for North and South Americas and Europe, Asia and Africa and Australia. <clears throat>